I'm going to set you up in my seat. Now you can see the monitor. Let's clean that up for you. Move you in a little bit closer. And I'm right here to show you how it's done, step by step. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Step by Step. As indicated in the title, today we are going to draw Winnie the Pooh. Oh, bother. All right, there's my Pooh, pooh impression. All right, so step one is we are going to do just what um, we did with Mickey Mouse. We're going to draw a circle. Okay, I'm getting carried away. There's our circle. Next step, we're going to split this circle in half by drawing a line from top to bottom or bottom to top, right through the middle. There you go. And the step after that is we are going to draw his eye line. So these are, this is the line we're going to put his eyes on. And with poo, it actually has another purpose. It, um, it's a way to find, um, how to describe this? Okay, so Pooh's head gets wide at the bottom because he has puffy cheeks and the top part is thinner. So this line kind of indicates where his head gets thinner. So I'm gonna do a couple marks <coughs> like that, excuse me. And then I'm going to connect these marks with a half circle. So that kind of blends into the top. And then, as I said, about his eye line, his cheeks puff out. He has puffy poo cheeks. So, from these points, you just kind of draw a nice, pleasant puffy cheek shape and blend it into the uh, circle and do it on both sides there we go now we have kind of a poo head shape and now you draw just really lightly kind of an oval so this um, these lines, we're not going to really trace these lines. They just kind of help us um, find where his features are. And the first feature we're going to draw is his nose. And Pooh doesn't have a round nose or anything like that. He has a triangle nose, right? But it's not a sharp triangle. It's a smooth triangle. The corners are rounded. See that? So we're going to draw a rounded poo nose triangle right about there. And there's Pooh's nose. All right, above Pooh's nose is um, a curved line that I don't have a na name for. It kind of indicates um, where his snout um, plugs into his head. Um, I guess we can call it a snout line. And it's just a curved line that kind of goes across like that. His mouth, we'll start by drawing the, the sides of his mouth. So we'll draw one side and the other side. And we'll connect them with a curved line. And then under his mouth, you can kind of indicate his lip. It'll be kind of a little bloop, something like that. It doesn't matter either side. Now his eyes are a bit wide set. So they're not close to his nose, or excuse me, they're not close to his center line. Um, they're out here, but they'll be the same distance from the center line, resting on this eye line and nice round circles because he's a teddy bear. So 
something like that. It's starting to look like poo. And then above his eyes are his eyebrows. And there's kind of these curve shapes somewhere in there. And then when you're ready, you can just darken in his eyes and his nose. That looks pretty pooey. Whoop, must drop the pencil. All right, and lastly, <coughs> excuse me, let me get a drink of water. Okay, lastly are his ears. And if you imagine a line going from right in the center above his nose, about 45 degrees, out to the side of his head, that'll be where his ears attach. Somewhere in here. So just imagine that line. And his ears are, um, I guess they're kind of ovals. And I tend to go way off the model and make them too big, so I'm going to try to control myself. There we go. And then you do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was kind of an awkward position for me to draw. I'm trying to stay out of the way so you can see it. And I'm just making it worse. All right, and there's basically how you draw Prue, uh, Prue, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh front view. Um, you want to do it again? All right, let me clean up my page. And like so. All right. So remember what step one was? It was draw a circle. There's our circle. And the next step was the center line, right through the center of it, top to bottom or bottom to top. Next step is his eye line. Just kind of a line like that, high in the circle. If the center's down here, you want to be up above because just where it goes. All right, Pooh's head is skinnier at the top, so you kind of pull the line in and connect these marks with a half circle, something like that. Right. Now we'll do puffy cheeks. Puffy poo cheeks that blend into the the circle we started with. I don't know why it's hard for me to do the right side of his face. All right, so what did we do next? Oh yeah, we did uh, kind of an oval indicating where his features are and. This oval really isn't for tracing, it's just kind of a guideline. Um, if I was sketching this uh, for work, I'd probably do, do everything we're doing here in blue pencil and then darken it in later. Or I'd do it on the computer in a, a light layer and then have a layer above it that I do the finish line. Alright, and Pooh's nose is a triangle, but it's not a sharp triangle, it's a nice soft poo triangle. No sharp corners, but still triangular. 
And then above it goes, uh, what do we call it, his snout line. It's just kind of a curved line like so. And now we're gonna do the sides of his mouth. There's one side, there's the other side. And they don't have to be like perfectly across from each other. They can be a little bit, um, a little bit off. It'll make his expression a little more interesting. All right, there's the sides of his mouth. Now we're gonna connect them with a nice curved line. And you can see I kind of lost my way, but it's still okay. And then we can put in his lip. And let's see, last time we put in this side, this side. This time we put it on that side. His eyes are a little bit wide set. And the perfect circles, because he's a poo bear or a teddy bear. can imagine they did little buttons or something. And then above his eyes are going to be his eyebrows. Just like that. And the final piece are his ears. So from that point you kind of imagine 45 degrees up. And that's where his, his ears will attach. And his ears are basically ovals. Except you don't draw this part of the oval, you only draw the part of the oval outside his head. There you go, Winnie the Pooh, front view. You know what? How about if we try to draw him three quarters view? All right, so this is gonna be a little more advanced, but I think this will be a fun thing to draw. So if you're ready and willing, let's turn the page and do a three quarters view poo, okay? up again. All right, so I'm going to change pencils. I'm going to use a harder pencil. That's the only reason I'm changing it. So, it's not just a harder pencil. It's the best pencil in the world. Don't take my word for it. It says so right there. Okay, so we're going to start out the exact same way. So this is how to draw three quarters poo, at least his head. So again, we draw our circle, and um, this time the circle is going to kind of, uh, we're going to draw within it and we're going to kind of cut out, cut out pieces to define Pooh's head. But the first couple steps are the same. We start with a circle, now we do his center line, but this time, since his head is turned, the center line is going to be looking that way. And I'm only choosing this way because I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to draw a curve pointing to the left. So that's the center line, right? Now his eye line, since this is still a sphere, will be a little bit high in his head and it will follow the contour of the sphere like that. Now here's where it gets crazy. So Pooh's face isn't exactly flat. I mean, his his um, face, or his, as you turn his head, parts of his face are gonna become really clear. For example, so let's say we did a, let me draw a quick profile of Pooh. All right, so if I was gonna draw Pooh's side view, within the circle, he's gonna look something like It's 
going to be something like that. You see how he's kind of breaking out of the circle? Because his uh, Pooh's brow is out a lot farther than his eyes. And his, his eye would be back here. His nose would stick out of the circle. And you may have a nice little line here. And the back of his head follows the circle pretty well. And then I think his shirt is somewhere in there. And finally, a couple of ears. All right, so just look at that circle. Look how far back his eyes are. Well, that's gonna happen even at three quarters as he turns his head. His eyes are gonna move across and they're gonna end up maybe over here. And that's because if we go down the center of his face, So the contour of his face is actually, if I went down the center, would be something like this. Right? That's the center of his face. That's carving, carving into the circle like that, carving it in, carving it in, then letting it go back out. So we have the circle. I put his eyes way back here because that's roughly the, where they'll be. That line's not going to be there. Um, <laughs> you know, I should have thought about this before I um, do it a step by step. Okay, so draw a circle, eye line, put his eyes to the right of the circle, and that might be too close together. Let's move this eye a little bit out. So there's the center line. Look where his eyes are. We can draw his snout. To stick out, kind of like it does here. And since we're side view, it's going to be a little more triangular, a little more snout shaped. See what next. Um, his eyelids, or excuse me, his eyebrows would be something like that. And you see how far that is out. That's because that's where his brow is. It's way out there. All right, from his brow, you can bring a line down. kind of towards his eye, something like that. And then the top of his head, it's gonna be this nice little curvy shape. It kind of blends into the circle. So right now what I'm doing is I'm carving his um, I'm carving the circle. <laughs> Alright, and then his puffy cheek will come out like that. And it's going to end up down here. So, I'm just kind of... And that's kind of the shape I think of when I'm drawing poo three quarters of you. Is this kind of wiggly line. Now we're gonna draw his nose right here. It's gonna be, it's still gonna be circle, uh, triangular shaped. But the bottom of the triangle is gonna be right there. So when we draw the triangle, it'll be in perspective. And then we're just gonna do that just so we can so his head is turned, um, this is going to start blocking part of his head. Alright, for his mouth, if you think of it this way, he has kind of a, a cheek shape. 
So there's the end of his mouth. Now we're going to connect it. With a curved line. And if you want, you can darken in these things. This line, probably don't even see. You might see maybe the, the edge of his, because um, he's sewn together. That's kind of where they sewed him. You don't have to. And then under his mouth, it's gonna be his lip. Remember that? All right, so if you go over here, lined up with his um, his mouth, that's kind of where his shirt comes down. So let's indicate that. He just, to me, he just doesn't look like Pooh if he doesn't have that, that shirt coming up his head. And that kind of goes behind his... And then finally, we do his ears and his ears are kind of closer to the back of his head so we'll we'll do our ovals but we're going to put them back here for the first one and since he's three quarters view the other one will just kind of be peeking up somewhere over here and there you go, that's how you draw Winnie the Pooh. Um, three quarters view. Um, I hope that made sense. Alrighty then.